What is going on, everybody? It's Rockstar FC back again for another The Smartest Man in FIFA. Some T Smith is back. And I know you've all wanted it because of all these comments bouncing around my head right now. Wait. Wait, there's no, com there's no comments bouncing around my head? Every time I go on another YouTuber's channel and they don't do their series for like a few days, they got plenty of comments saying, oh, go back to this, go back to this. Uh, where's mine? Let me check my comment section. Oh, nice. Same people who I, I love and love that they comment, but let's get some comments going in the... Even if they're stupid. I, you know, even if they're stupid, I don't even care. Just put some comments down below about something. How's your day going? How your day went today? Uh, when you're watching this, how your day yesterday went? Whatever you want to comment. Let's comment. Maybe we don't want to start commenting where's Smartest Man Fever on every video I post. I just... Sometimes it gets a little nice. It's like people really want to see the series. People have told me to bring it back, but that was just a little banter in the beginning, but... Here we go. We're going into the team here. We're just going to jump right in the team. Who do we have? We have our Kelsiwa team because we need. We want to win. Uh, we use the Bundesliga team a lot. EPL team's not there yet. Hopefully we get an EPL team of season today. Would be great. Uh, we're still looking for a left back in the Kelsiwa, I believe. Let me just look quickly. I haven't done any squad work since the last epi. Nope. Anything there? Nope. So we're going to keep using uh, Heat. Dimash. He looks decent, though, for a left mid playing left back. Uh, we got Ilicic. We got this guy, Maganelli. Actually, I think I might be Gagliardini back in. I think he was out for fitness reasons. Uh, we got Balde Diao, who's sick, playing right wing. We have Alejandro Gomez, our star man, scoring that much. We have that. I had to sell him for. I had to use him for a squad builder challenge way back, like right in the beginning of the series, and then I had to rebuy him back, which is why it says I bought him for 1400 not packed him. Um, I think I said that, though, when I did it. It was for an SBC a long time ago. I was doing the Team of the Week SBC, I think. Or a marquee matchup for the Team of the Week when that first came out. Um, so I had that. And I think we actually have the uh, Team of the Week in here somewhere. I'll show you. Unless I sold them for coins, but which, I, which is probably smart because we're not going to use them. I don't know why I did the marquee matchup. I was so excited that we got a Team of the Week. Yeah, we actually don't have them, so sold them on. But that's why I had to buy back Alejandro Gomez. He's still the leading scorer down below. Uh, Thorgon's catching up to him, so let's jump into the first game, though, because we have to get Kelsey a lot, and we have to get Alejandro Gomez keeping above Thorgon Hazard. Here we go, first opponent of the day, his name, team name is Bundes. He actually has a Bundesliga team, a good one, too. He's got left wing, uh, Douglas Costa, Timo Werner in form, Dembele, Thiago, Vidal at Cam, Salt Bay uh, at uh, CM, left mid, Chalonoglu, Rodriguez, Hummels, top rack, peace check, and I believe Farman in net, so very standard but very good uh, Bundesliga team. He's the Krusty Crushers. Can we Krusty Crush his soul and get a ton of pulls out of the good hat? Or will it be the second time in the series where we've had to use the bad hat? Let's see what happens in this game. Doesn't seem to be skipping it, so we'll see what happens. What a pass! I think that was accidental, but... Uh, oh, wait, no, wait, we still have possession. If we can get it across... Oh, no, that would have been amazing. That's a penalty! Penalty! That's got to be a penalty. Yes! Oh, wow, we had a few good passes there, a few lucky bounces, and then it came to us, and instead of just trying to take it, we tried to pass it out to the top, and I guess that worked out. Yes, it worked out perfectly. Ilicic taking it? No, it's not. It's Alejandro Gomez taking it. Oh, I'm so bad at penalties. Which way do I go? Right. Left. Yes. Wasn't a great penalty. Ended up going more towards down the middle than I wanted to, but still puts it away. Had him go in the wrong direction. Wow. Whew. Penalties always scare me, especially because you can read the penalties, but I try to go... I try to flick the opposite way. So if people do try to read my penalties. <gasps> what a goal! Chiru Imoble! It came out of nowhere off that corner. The first corner came in and he headed it away. And instead of, I just, one, look at, one touch, put it back in. Immobile's by himself in the middle because the other guy had to push because it came right back to my player. And Immobile does exactly what's needed out of him to put it on target and put it in. Ah, there he goes. That's a good goal. Poor clearance by me. I rushed it. Uh, Vidal gets on the break. And you know Vidal is good enough to finish that 87 overall Vidal. Um, I just got I got caught on the break. I rushed it a little bit, and that's what it comes out of me rushing it. So, Balde Dio, 
Yes! What a goal! That was a deserved goal. I rushed the shot just a little bit too early with Balde Dio here. But look at this beautiful play. Look, I could have brought it in further, but I didn't want to sweat it across. I ended up sweating across off the rebound. I, I think that might have been a mobile again or Illicic. Kevin Strootman, they all look the same right there. They all got that, I mean, this, but with uh, more blonde-ish hair. Oh, no, what is he doing? He ran the wrong direction. What? What? I put? I stopped playing. You can hear I didn't hit any buttons. 3-2, to two, that stinks. I just realized that hurts us for goal differential, but I, I put the controller down because I was so, I thought that was a goal, and then Neto makes an amazing save. That was like, oh, both of his goals are his only two shots from straight on, I think. He just keeps sprint dribbling down the wing with uh, Douglas Costa because he knows like, I have that weak left back, which fair to him, but he hasn't had a good shot really because he keeps shooting from, I'll show you, he keeps shooting from like right here thinking it's going to go in every time. And that's the game. I think we had one more chance on right there. Um, I don't know if I can show like any of the shots. Gomez did score the penalty. Immobile scored. Schrutman scored. Gomez had an assist as well. We won 3-2, so that's two pulls out of the hat, which isn't great. Um, I just want to see if there's any shots that aren't... Let's see, is there any saves by Neto? Oh, it's the one we just saw, of course. Yeah, see, that's like where most of his shots came from, but a different version of it. Um... He just kept shooting from the sides, and I don't know why. I don't know if he thought he had, like, the near post angle on it or something like that, but he kept dribbling down the side. That's why he has 15, 22 shots, 15 on target. He kept hitting the side netting. Um, I don't really know what to say about that. I mean, he didn't. He just kept Douglas Costa dribbled down the side. Could easily cover it. I let him do it. I literally let him dribble in, but kept them far enough away he couldn't get a shot. Shot it either, hit Neto in the hand and went up for a corner, or hit the side netting. So I really don't have to do too much. To guard him, but we do have two poles, so let's get into those. Here we are with the poles out of the good hat. We got two today, a little bit shorter than usual, but at least it's out of the good hat and not the bad hat. First one, we're going to go slower in this one just because we have two. It's two golds. Oh, still can't get to focus. I don't know. I, I need like a background to put him on. I know that, but second one here, one gold. So three golds are up for grabs here. Um, we'll get onto the website. It's a little different website just because we're kind of basically done that other website. So let's get onto the new one. Here we are on the new website. Uh, we have, I, what I try to do is I was going to do flags, but I'm going to leave that for his way back. He loves flags. So I do too, but it makes sense. We like FIFA. So obviously we like flags a little bit more just because we get to see them on the cards and there's a lot of different players, but I'm going to do geography, which is kind of FIFA related as well. FIFA, soccer, football, footy football, I mean, whatever you want to call it. It's a worldwide game. It's one of the biggest worldwide, if not the biggest worldwide game out there. Uh, one of the oldest. So I thought geography trivia is kind of indicative of FIFA and footy and soccer and football and all that in general. So I want to stick to geography trivia. Plus, I really like geography trivia. So we're getting into it. Let's just go in order. And we can keep using this website. It looks like there's a lot of pages, a lot of questions, 10 per page. So at least 100 questions. We know I'm not smart or I'm not good enough at FIFA to keep getting polls after polls, so we won't have over 100 questions for a while. Uh, so let's just get into it. Starting off with, what is the Earth's largest continent? Now, I think it's either Asia or Antarctica. I know it's not Europe. I think Europe's the smallest, if I'm correct. Maybe Australia. I don't think it's Africa. I'm trying to think. If you turn to Africa sideways, I think it's Antarctica. I'm going to go with Antarctica. <laughs> It was Asia. I mean, at least that's cool. I at least get to see the right answer like this. Um, I think it's yelling at me. Let me just see this quickly. Yeah, it's an aggressive. It's an aggressive yell at me. That's fun. But uh, it was Asia. If you want to read that, pause it, read it. Uh, Asia. I mean, like I said, it was my two top two choices. I'm not exactly. I always hear Antarctica is huge, but I'm not exactly sure how big it is. Is is Antarctica even second, or is Africa second? Um, let me know that in the comments down below if you do know that or just Google it for me. <laughs> what razor-thin country accounts for more than half of the western coastline of South America? Now, I didn't plan this. I didn't plan this at all. But if you look at the jersey I'm wearing, I haven't seen the questions. I saw the first question, but I didn't look it up before, obviously not. I would have got it right if I had looked it up. But um, I had seen the first question just to see what the type of questions were, but look at what jersey I'm wearing. I don't know if you can see it. If you guys don't know this off the top of your head. Federation de Football de Chile. So I'm assuming that just means Football Federation of Chile. Um, Chile does go around Argentina. 
with a toothy coastline of 2,650 miles. Chile accounts for more than half of the western coastline. Those are two quite. I just realized I was just going to go answer and ask questions for you. Uh, we do get one gold pack. Let me know if I'm going to do this. Let me know in the comments down below if you think I should take them away or get rid of these players later. But, but as, as a team, team of the season, EPL team of the season spectacular, I'm going to open one of the uh, 300 FIFA points of so the premium gold packs. Um, I'm not exactly sure what they are, but I'll show you before I open up what they are. Because there is, there is promo pack, but I'm not going to open those unless we earn them, of course. So I'll see you in the pack. Here we are in the pack. We got So this is what it is, the Jumbo Premium Gold Pack. I'm going to count that as the one gold. If we get a Premium Gold, maybe I'll open two of these. Oh, we have another game, obviously. And if we get a special pack, I'll open the Mega Packs on here, of course. Um, so let's open one of these. 350 points still using to use Legends. It's not a walker, so it can't be. It's just small flares. Cam. River Plate. I don't want De Alessandro. I almost said Alessandrino. Oh, our this we got the left back from Kelsey Watt, and he's a good one too. 87 pace our Marrow. And then Bukhani could be good for EPL. Probably not going to be using Charles. Definitely not going to be using Star. Yeah, I forgot who Neto is. Uh, not going to be using him in the Liga Nost, most likely. Hopefully not. If, if we do have to, probably not going to use the Liga Nost team. Biggest thing there was we got a Kelsey Watt left back after I just got roasted down the left or the right wing left back side. For our Kelsey Watt team. So let's jump into game two. I'm not sure. I'll probably be using. Maybe I'll try the EPL. I'll try the EPL team so I can show you guys that before we go to the next game. Here is the EPL team. It needs some work. I mean, I'm okay. I'm honestly okay with the defense. We have Berrigan, who looks like a decent 75 overall. We know Cabasay is good. Uh, Jula Bodji looks good. Not Gula Vogi, but Jula Bodji, I think, looks good. Burchin looks decent. Shea Given looks awful in net. Uh, we have Obiang, who's probably OP, a little slow. Best of check, she doesn't look too bad for a CDM. Lanzini, I get roasted by, all still, now, just his regular card, against some of my good players. James Milner looks pretty pretty sluggish. I'm going to move him. Gaston Ramirez doesn't look great either. And then we know how good he ox is a striker. I have M. Bukhani, who I'm going to bring on as the be on the bench. Not going to put Peters in ever. Might bring Jakob in just for that, um, just because Jakob looks like he could lock down shop there. I know we have an EPL manager because we have Claudio Puel that we've packed. We have a few other managers I can look through, too. Um, so let's just jump into the game. I mean, <clears throat> I'm not expecting to win, but it's D6, so at least I have a chance at this one. I want to get this team in early. I want to try to... S I'm trying to use all the teams as much as I can now, so let's get into game two and see if we can actually win it with this horrible-looking squad with a horrible formation. Here comes the game for team two. He's got an EPL team a little bit better than ours. He's got Martial, Gabriel Jesus, Coutinho, Eriksson, Son, Conte, Azpilicueta, Smalling, Koscielny, Bellerin, and Lloris. Basically, your bog standard regular gold overall EPL team in my favorite formation of the 4-1-2-1-2. Oh, we got the 4-2-3-1. 4-2-3-1, right? But the CAMs, the CAMs and CDMs, so. Let's see if we can do this. If we can do this, I think either this guy's bad or we're, we're just beast. And I don't think it's the latter, so I hope this guy's bad. Oxlade Chamberlain again. Oh, what a dance move! Oh, he puts it in his own net! That's what exactly we needed! Yes! No, I'm not gonna dab. Not gonna do it. I think it might have been going in anyways, to be fair. Look at that. E, no, that was going wide. That was going very wide. Koscielny, the Arsenal boys, connecting for a worldy of a goal. To be fair, I did well with Oxlade Chamberlain to get it open. I was, I was patient to do the roulette and get around Smalling, who easily would have blocked the first shot, but I'm okay, I'm okay with it. I love it. Love a good 1 0 lead. Oh no, he's in behind here. Shay Given. Oh no, what a bad clearance. I don't know if that was Gula. I think it was Gula Boji, but Shay Given doing whatever he can to make some saves here for the team. And someone just heading it right to Anthony Martial at the top. That's not what we needed. Oxlade Chamberlain, a beauty ball from Hamez. A beauty ball from Hamez. Milner to Alex Oxlade Chamberlain. Makes it 2-1. to one. All that makes it 2-1 to one right here. Look at this beauty of a ball. Ooh! 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 What a finish, too. Loris was out to that one, too. I thought for sure he was going to save that one, but Ox, with a little bit of a chippy, dippy duda, puts it in the corner of the net for 2-1. to one. Oxlade Chamberlain could be through again. Times the run perfectly. Times the run perfectly. What a shot. What a goal. 
the kind of hat trick for Alex Oxlade Chamberlain, but not really because one was an own goal. But what a beauty run. Hamas Milner pulling strings right now in the midfield. I love it. He's just holding up play. He's strong on the ball, so I can just LTRT, hold up play. Don't have to run at all. Don't have to use that 60 pace or whatever it is, 61 pace. I can literally just stand there, wait, wait, wait for Oxlade Chamberlain to make a beauty run in between the two center backs. Find him, and he's gone, though. There's half time. We're, we're up 3 to 1, uh, deserve it up 3 to 1, even though we only have two shots on target. This guy plays a very similar style to how I like to play when I play the 4 1 2 and 2. He just plays it kind of worse. I'm not uh, giving shots at him, but it just, the way he plays doesn't, it's like he plays the style because he has to, but it's not like his natural style of play because it's just not working. It's aggressive without being like tactical. As Lanzini's through. Oh my goodness, that stop by Lanzini. And then on the stop, puts it in. Oh my goodness, right off the kickoff. Maybe kickoff glitch, but look at this. This is a beauty play. Lanzini making a smart run. Stops to mess up Smalling. Stops exactly amount of time to let Smalling open up his legs to put it through his legs in top corner. Lanzini has an amazing shot. I think he's a very underrated player in FIFA. He roasts me every single time I'm playing him. Great dribbling and great shooting, so you can't get the ball off him if you're good at LTRT. As he's about to get a kickoff glitch of his own. Big save by Shea Given. Oh, oh Oxlade Chamberlain, Chamberlain 3 wants, wants his hatty. Alex Oxlade Chamberlain wants his hatty for his daddy, and he's got it. Uh, hattie for the daddy. He's got the hatty. He's got the hatty. What a good finish shot. He calls out Lloris. Lloris is running. You never want Lloris to be running. Rage quit second half. Add a pole. There's the rage quit. There it is. So we add a pole. We're up by four because it's five to one. That's such a shame getting three, three goals. How does Miller getting three assists? assists? I mean, would you have, would you have believed that for the world? But so, so we won by four, four plus the win is five plus the rate put six, so we have six poles. That's gonna be nice because I think the questions are gonna get tricky. Here we go, six poles out of the hat. Let's get them quickly. Let's just put them down because it is a lot. We've got one, two, three, four, five. Just make sure that wasn't two. And can I find another one? Six. Okay, there's the six poles. Oh, the hat was folded. I was wondering why I couldn't find anything of those. Just go over here. Let's find some order here. One gold. One gold. Two golds. A lot of gold packs up for it. One gold. One gold. No special pack and a premium. So we have like one, two, three, four, five, six. Six golds and a premium. So this is gonna be a part of maybe we could stack them if we have do earn them So let's get to the trivia see if we can earn something. Here we go into the trivia. What river runs through Baghdad? I don't know what the Jordan River the Kar the Karun River is. I know the Tigris and Euphrates is in either the Bible or Greek mythology, which is weird Tigris and Euphrates. I think that's around Iraq. I thought Tigris and Euphrates was around Iraq. I'm gonna go Euphrates <laughs> It was the Tigris. I keep narrowed down to 50-50, so we don't get this one gold. Gonna put that down. Which country has the most natural lakes? Are you kidding me? Natural lakes? Canada's got quite a bit, but I don't even know if they count as lakes or like the ocean, because I know it just goes up and then there's a lot there. India, I don't think there's too many natural lakes. Australia could have a lot, but I think it's also got a lot of, not desert, but like waste. I'm gonna go Canada. Yes, it was Canada. It has more than half of all the natural lakes in the world. 9% of the country is covered in water. We do get one gold, so we will be coming out here with at least one pack. What is the only sea without any coasts? I don't even know what that question means. I know the Mediterranean Sea has coasts. Does that mean it just goes into water? But I'm going to go the celibacy. Celibacy. Preach celibacy, kids. It was the Sargasso Sea. Middle of the North Atlantic Ocean, surrounded by ocean currents. It is the only sea on Earth with no coastline. The Gulf Stream on the north, the Al North Atlantic Current. I don't know any of those. Okay, I don't know why I'm still reading. So we don't get two golds. These are hard questions. I, I like it, though. I I'm learning a lot here. I think, I think we're all learning a lot doing these questions here. So this one's going to be for another one gold. Which percent of the River Nile is located in Egypt? I don't think it's 100%. I think the Nile River is pretty big. 9% sounds a lot low, and I know it's known for it. I'm going to go 83%. Oh, I keep narrowing it down to 50-50. Although it's generally associated with Egypt, which is what I was thinking. 
Only 22% of the Nile's course is actually in Egypt. I th does it start in Egypt, I think? Would that, that would make sense, right? Egypt's at the top right. I don't know. These are hard questions. In what country can you visit Machu Picchu? I think this is Peru. I'm just going to go with Peru right away. Okay, I thought so. I knew that one. Machu Picchu, yeah. <clears throat> Inca Citadel, located in Cuisco, Riven, Yer Yerubamba, Providence, Machu Picchu District in Peru above the Sacred Valley. I knew that one. And for the last question for a premium gold, which African nation has the most pyramids? If it's not Egypt, I'm just going to stop this. It's not Egypt. I had to go Egypt, though. It was Sudan. 200 pyramids in Sudan, twice that of Egypt. Then why are they called the Egyptian pyramids? Tell me that. Was it where they started? I don't know. We got two golds, but it is the EPL premium spectacular team of this uh, T. Smith episode. So we're going to get two premium gold packs. Hopefully we can pull something cool. Maybe an inform would be fun. I don't think we're going to get a team this season, these two. If we do, I could just like say everyone's face that's been spending hundreds of dollars to get them. Ha 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 ha. But let's see if we can get anything. <clears throat> Here we are in the packs. We have two jumbo premium gold packs. Open the first one. No walkout. Can we get inform? No big flare even. Goalkeeper. Areola, the nipple? The League One team just got the nipple. Dalbert, 90 pace. League One just got Lid, Liddy. MLS, maybe. <coughs> Carmona. Uh, oh, we actually got a duplicate. I'm just going to quick sell him. And then finally, for the last pack, no walkout. Can we get a big flare? We do get at least an 84. I'm okay with that. Kamel Glick, the League One team is League One Lit. I think League Unlit's probably like a word or something. I probably just swore in like French. Who knows? Lemos helps. Dyer could help. Sabitzer could help the Bundesliga team. He's got 87 pace. Grenier probably not going to help. We have a lot of center mids. I'm going to make a League Unlit team quickly just to see what it looks like. And I'm going to see you guys at that. And then we'll do the outro there. Here's the League Unlit team we've come up with so far. Defense and defense. Literally CDM and the defense in general look really good. And Kulu's good. Glick's good. I put Krizawa on right back on 7 chem. Looks good. Dalbert looks good. Ariola looks good. Monet Paquette and Durar, a little slow. Briand actually looks pretty good. Uh, Vertut's been really good for us. What's he got for us? Five games, one goal, three assists. Not bad from Vertut. And Barrett, we actually haven't used yet. So, a few things on the bench as well. We need more strikers, I think, for this, and maybe a cam. We do have this cam right here. It looks actually decent, Torre. But um, we're going to stick with Vertu because he's been our boy. But that's going to be it for the episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. It's getting harder. We're getting less polls. We're on a harder website, I believe. I think for a harder website uh, in terms of geography questions. Maybe I'll find a different website that's maybe easier but not super easy. I don't want to get too easy as well. Because uh, I, I want it to be about like actually testing myself for knowledge. Testing you guys for knowledge. I know you guys have fun playing along. Um, and seeing what you guys can get right. So... Hope you guys enjoyed that. If you do, smash the like button. Leave some comments, like I said in the beginning. I love reading comments. I love responding to comments. I try to either at least like them all or something like that. I mean, there's not a lot to go through. It's not like I'm struggling to go through them all. But if I have a comment that's funny or um, that goes with your comment, then I'll leave it, obviously. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. Follow the link down below on my Twitter. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And I will see you next time. <laughs>